Hey, this is for KTM owners on the newer, you know, factory editions and I think the two, all the 2017 models that have lock-on grips. This is a lock-on grip and the, the left side is easy enough. You have a Torx, you can undo that one and pull that grip off. So this is for guys that want to put on their own grips. Uh, these are pretty decent for a lot of guys. For, for me, I like a different feel. Um, I'd like to be able to change grips quickly and easily. Um, unfortunately, I haven't seen that you can buy this throttle tube yet. I know Motion Pro and some companies are working on them. So right now, our only option is to cut off the stock grip because it's like vulcanized on here. So we've tried that with a, a wire wheel and different things. Don't do that. This plastic is really thin. Don't put any tools to this thing. I'm afraid you'll crack it really easily. So uh, we just use hand tools just with uh, a knife like so. And then we're finishing it up with a razor blade like so. So we'll show you how to do that. And that's about, about the only option right now as far as putting grips on your newer KTM. We're putting on a 450 SXF. Um, and also we just did so on a 300 XC. So we'll show you how to do that. Now here's one we did yesterday. Real simple deal. Now this one, I actually cut this out and filed out this for an off-road bike that's going to have wraparound handguards. So this one had been crashed, was already a little bit damaged here, so this was an easy choice to use on that bike. All the throttle tubes, two-stroke and four-stroke, are using this new design right here. So with this new design right here, as you can see, this piece right here, this is for a four-stroke because it has two throttle cable openings. The, the two-stroke will only have one, of course, very simple deal. And these just pull off and go right on like so. So really simple deal. So this one I did, I would say it takes me about uh, eight or ten minutes. I take my time and I can do one of these. So now we're going to do this, this one right here. And I just start cutting. I'm usually on a bench up much higher. So I'm going to start cutting on this thing and I'll just start making some cuts. And I also will cut off the, this part first. I'm wearing gloves so that I, if I do cut myself, a little less likely to hurt real bad. Also, I try to use all, the, all that I learned in Boy Scouts and my totem ship and so I don't hurt uh, myself and cut in, you know, towards my thigh or anything like that. You don't want to get hurt doing such a silly, simple thing. So when you have a knife, you're, you know, you don't, you don't want to be doing this, cutting this thing up towards you, potentially cutting yourself. So, and I think there's probably some other knives you could use, maybe in a sharp pocket knife. I'm just using a utility knife. What I kind of do is get about, I don't want to cut into the plastic too much. You're going to cut the plastic a little bit, and that's not a huge deal. So now, when I kind of get most of it off, I just get the regular flat razor blade and I just hold it straight up and down and do this. Okay, so we're basically all done here. You can sand this if you want to get it a little bit nicer. I would sand it with some, you know, like, 100, 100 grit sandpaper or something to get it off. But that, that took us less than 10 minutes uh, to do, but it still kind of sucks because you're like, yeah, I just want a throttle tube would not. But if you take your time, you can do it. Simple deal. There is a little lip right here at the end, and we're going to just slightly spin this on my buffing wheel just like this to get that lip off. Okay, so that's about all there is to it. We've got our throttle tube bolted back up, ready to install our new grip. We pulled the lock on off the other side. I thought it was Torx. It's actually an Allen, uh, real small Allen here. And sometimes these things do get bo boogered up and can be hard to get off. I've actually had to beat one off before, but we got the left side off. Left side, then you just put your grips on just like normal. Simple deal.